Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my ticketing experience trying to secure tickets to TXT's first ever world tour, Act Love Sick. So for those of you who aren't aware, TXT is finally having the first ever world tour since their debut date. So they will be starting their tour off in South Korea and then moving on over here to the United States. I will be trying to secure tickets to the Los Angeles stop, so wish me luck. And before I get started, I do want to mention that today's sale is for the pre-sales, which means that you had to be a MOA member and you had to fill out an application on the Weavers app in order to acquire a code for today's sale so i think i filled out the application like last week or something and then i got the code last night in an email so i will be using that code today to participate in the pre-sale so tickets aren't officially on sale yet to the public until tomorrow all right so here's a screen recording of my experience so i basically logged in like 10 minutes prior to 4 so like 3 50 and then i was prompted this screen as you can see on here at 404 basically telling me to put in my pre-sale code which i did and i was prompted to this page which told me that the limitation per every account is for tickets okay so that's all good and everything however you have to understand it is only five minutes in it is 405 and take a look at the seats that are available like look at, look at the right hand side like all of these sections not seats like you can't even choose the seats it's the section so like all of these sections are already taken and it's only been five minutes which is super crazy and i was honestly only like really aiming for the lower mezzanine or upper mezzanine levels which were choices at this time so i clicked on them however as you will see once i clicked on it it provided me an error message saying oh no there are currently no tickets available please try again and as you can see from the screen here there was even a time when the only two sections left were the pit and orchestra which was honestly too good to be true and i was right because it obviously had to disappear after i tried it a few times and it prompted me all the way back to like the other options as shown here and I honestly didn't know what the hell was going on so I ended up trying a few more times and just when I thought that everything was going so well I got this message there are currently no tickets available hey everyone so let's talk about today's ticketing experience so from my point of view this was actually one of the worst ticketing experiences i've ever had to experience and i'm saying that because from my prior experience if i am able to start choosing my seats within like half an hour from the start of ticket sales i'm in a pretty nice spot i would say because there should be a lot of seats available within um the first half an hour however as you saw from my footage i was able to start choosing my seats within four minutes after ticket sale so less than five minutes so i should technically have a lot of seats to choose from but as you saw from my footage um, a lot of the sections were already sold out and like on top of that i was having a lot of like issues um trying to actually secure tickets because it kept on giving me like error messages and stuff so so yeah like <laughs> this experience is honestly quite stressful needless to say and um uh, there's a few things i want to point out and the first one is that this experience was held on axs.com and not ticketmaster and i guess for me like that was just a negative thing because i'm more used to ticketmaster at this point so i guess you know um, having to switch over to another website caused unnecessary stress on my part and um, the second thing is and this is just a hypothesis i'm thinking that there's a chance that maybe not all the tickets were released for the pre-sales and maybe they're saving some for tomorrow's public sale i'm not sure if anyone knows anything about this or can confirm anything uh, please let me know down in comments because i'm actually super curious about that so next thing, um, which is actually kind of related to that, is that the capacity for, 
for the venue. So, um, so when I first heard that you know TXT is touring, I was super excited, and I had to look at um, you know the places they were stopping, and also like the sites they were gonna stop at. And for Los Angeles, they were gonna stop at Microsoft Theater. So I checked, and if I remember correctly, the theater has a capacity of seven thousand seats i think um which honestly like isn't a lot considering how large the fan base is for the group so yeah like i think um that is actually probably one of the main reasons why today's ticket sales um came out this way <laughs> so yeah and um another thing i want to point out is that on the official website like the tour website which i showed at the start of today's video to you guys at the very very bottom of the screen there's actually a place that says more tour dates to come or something like that so i think that's a hint and that's a really hopeful thing and i can only hope that they would come to these spots again like i know like los angeles is one of the larger spots that's a really high possibility and i guess just some words of encouragement for those of you who are trying to secure tickets tomorrow um i mean just try your best and and like i said in all of my how to get ticket videos on my channel having the opportunity to secure tickets is solely dependent on your luck and sometimes you're just lucky sometimes you're just not lucky and you just have to try and hope for the best. And lastly, if you or anyone you know was successful at acquiring tickets to the Los Angeles show, please let me know because I'm actually curious as to see who actually, if anyone were able to get tickets. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, bye.